Hi guys, this is Cryptic Cinematics, and today we'll be making a pretty cool UCOS website banner. So, a website banner you can use on UCOS or UNET. Um, with the website creator. So, yeah, you can, uh, and it'll be big enough to fit it. So, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is show you what the banner will actually look like. So it's, again, it's another very simple tutorial. So eventually I'll be really pushing it and getting into advanced tutorials. So yeah, so this is what we're going to be making. It's exactly the same to the poster, except it's different positioning and all that, different size. So yeah, let's uh, get started. So um, open up Photoshop, click File New and you want to make the width 1347 and the height um, 124 so uh, click OK you then want to click your foreground colour and you want to make it 999 press enter hold down alt press backspace you then want to get your uh, text tool and you want to make the font Myriad Pro I just find that You want to keep it on regular, make it 30, make the colour white, click in a random spot, type in your name. And drag it up to the top somewhere. Uh, put it down a touch and write a touch. And uh, yeah, you then want to double click on it and you want to go to, uh, yeah, click select gradient overlay, click the gradient bar, double click on the black node and you want to make this 333333 press enter, click OK, give it a drop shadow, make that um, what is it, opacity 15 and press enter, you then want to control and J this and you want to highlight the text and you want to type in your motto, motto sorry. so I'm going to type in mine Just gonna quickly drag it underneath, and simple as that. This probably only took a, a couple of minutes. Very very simple. If um since I've so much time left, I'm gonna show you how to save it. So uh yeah, the positioning is fine. So I mean you probably know how to save it, but this is for absolute beginners by the way. So you want to go file save as and I mean you can save it wherever you want, this is uh, how you save it as backup so just leave it as PSDs, save it to whatever name you want and if you want to save it as an image you can go save as and then change this to JPEG or PNG or you can do it this way or oh, wait I'll show you um, if you what will happen if you save it as a PNG, JPEG it will bring you up this quality menu so if you see here it will tell you how much memory it didn't take up and it will go up as you increase the quality simple as that so another way is to go file save for web and devices and um, <coughs> keep it on JPEG or you can change to PNG 24 uh, so I'm going to keep it on JPEG so this is way more accurate than uh, the other interface so 100 and yeah that's how you make a uh, website banner for ucos.com I think it's got a com but anyway yeah so that's how you make a banner so I'll see you in the next tutorial uh, remember to thumbs up comment and subscribe and I'll see you then goodbye